bagong vision ni Bebong Sweet Face. Yun, ay, hindi naman yun. Hindi, 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 hindi. Tanyo, yung bagong bili namin na, na yun, 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 sira na ulit. Yun, 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 yun. I feel that like I am more productive kapag ka nagawa ko na yung um, pagsisimba early in the morning rather than doing it on a Sunday night wherein supposedly we are preparing na for one, pagpasok ng mga bata and or two, um, shift, early shift ko tomorrow which is also at 6 in the morning. So, as far as being productive, I want to make sure na gawin ko muna yung mga priority ko for the day bago ako matulog. And then, right now, since balik tayo sa semi-graveyard shift, semi-morning shift, I really want to balance everything. In order to do that, you have to have a good schedule. If there's one thing that I am proud of as a virtualist, assistant, it is my ability to triage between urgent tasks, important tasks, and nice to do tasks, so to speak. So, that being said, I'm also able to apply that in real life. And sometimes it tends to get complicated just because my schedule isn't fixed yet. We're still adjusting. We have one a part-time client and at the same time, we are searching for one full-time client. And we have a business to take care of. Plus, we have newborn for babies um, who's always crying. Although, hindi naman namin sila full responsibility. I, I still feel this, I guess, motherly instinct na kapag mag-iyak sila nila, lapitin ko talaga. Now, update. As you guys have seen on my previous vlog, Ms. Ted and I, we went out last Friday night. Nagpaalam ako ng off. Because nagkakaano rin ako, vertigo attack. So, attack ba yung tawag dun? First time ko eh, na ganun yung feeling na galing ka. Yung na-experience ko lang yun was nung bata ako, yung maghapon ako nasa pool, yung parang nag-wave lahat. Yung pag dumidikit ako sa pada, nag-wave siya. And that's, at first it was cool and then it was kind of alarming and then it turned to be something um, okay. And then, Eventually, nung tumaga na siya, parang 3 days na yata siya, parang medyo, okay, take a wait. Iba na ito ang tagal. And then, maya maya, nawawala na siya. So, I still have it. Sometimes, when I look down, or merong um, sudden movement to the left or to the right ng head, medyo, medyo pa rin siya. Pero, hindi na siya, wala na yung alarming um, factor sa kanya. So, Mr. and I, we went out last Friday, and I guess it's about time that we try and touch base with um, how I'm doing with my journey to minimalistic-ish for the living life and uh, ano pa rin yung tema ng vlog natin eh kasi yung mga decision natin kailangan umikot dun sa mga ano ba yung mga ultimate goals ko uh, today, this week, this month, this year kailangan uh, focus tayo dun before before Mr. and I went out, I, I had this budget in mind. Although may mga kailangan bayaran, for example, tuition fees sa school, we still kind of waited in. Lalabas ba kami, gagastos kami kapag lumabas, syempre. Kaya lang kasi, over the past couple of months, the last time we went out, and hindi pa nga went out yan, was when we took the kids to a staycation last Feb 1st. And... We, we also had a budget then 
but since it's for the kids experience and of course um, family relaxation na rin, and we I was working hard I, I I was working 12 hours a day six days a week minsan nagkaroon pa ako ng three straight weeks na nagtatrabaho ako for 10 to 12 hours so feeling ko deserve and deserve it. but now since medyo relaxed tayo, I've decided na we have a limited budget, but we still need to go out with the mister. Um, again, conscious decision making. Instead of, for example, instead of gumastos pa kami ng pag-check-in sa hotel, wala nang pag-check-in, wala nang pag-check-in na naganap. After namin mag-inom, diretso uwi na kami sa bahay. Um, I do have notes also with regards to um, how am I um, doing with my journey to minimalistic-ish? <laughs> and one of the steps that I've taken is to actually reduce friends list on Facebook. While I appreciate those moments we've had back in elementary, high school, college, or work, and everything in between, at the moment, I just want to keep whoever sparks joy. What do I mean by whoever sparks joy? So from 1,300 friends, I am now down to 700, and I'm still downsizing. So first, um, around, because I started that February 8th. February 8th, long way to go, but my new suite is looking a whole lot better after I unfriend now, around 300. And then, um, down to another down by another 300 friends after going through stories mas madali nang is sort out pagka naka-focus ka dun sa goal mo na when i think of this person does he spark joy does he or she add value to my current life kasi not because we've shared uh, happy moments back in elementary kung ngayon naman eh, hindi ko na sila maalala or parang mag-isip ko, ano nga ba yung ginawa namin nung gantong tayo? Parang, okay, it's time to let go. Um, and then, I, I went down to, oh my God, I'm now, I was at, on February 10, 682 na pala. So, just browsing through my feed stories, I unfriended those who do not currently spark joy? Some friends, I even sent advance notice to let them know about my journey to positivity. Etong si, si Puet, um, nag-comment ako din sa isang post niya, kasi lagi siya may inaaway. Na hindi ko maintindi ako sinong kaaway niya. Sabi ko, be, um, alam mo namang mahal kita. Um, however, uh, I just had to have something positive around surrounding me so I hope you understand me and friend kita hindi na friend na sabi ni hindi <laughs> nang sabi sa akin friend nag comment back pa daw kasi hindi ko na nakita eh kasi after nung comment na yun nag ano na ako in unfriend ko na siya nag comment pa daw na sagot niya is hindi ka walan I was like what the fuck meron kaming chat box hindi na rin siya nag -re reply doon and I'm thinking probably because in unfriend ko siya hindi it wasn't my intention to hurt her. I just wanted her to know na, oh, itong kagaya nitong post na to, hindi ito welcome ngayon sa newsfeed ko sa social media. Kasi, gusto ko sana medyo, nasa propositibo na tayo. Eh. Hindi ako nagpapakimpokrita ha. Ako, pumapasok pa rin sa akin yung mga negative thoughts. The mere fact na nakakapag-isip na nga ako ng mga negative thoughts, ayoko nang may dadagdag pa ba. And, Again, the mere fact na nag-reply siya ng hindi kawalan simply means, well, I was just, what, a fair weather friend, di ba? So, ayun. Um, number one question I ask myself, does this person inspire me to be a better, does this person inspire me to be a better version of myself? Do they motivate me? Do they spark joy? And then just this morning, um, I updated that. Uh, post, I said, still in the process of downsizing friends list, current question I asked for every profile browsed, do I have recent happy memories with this person? When I think of this person, do they add value to the quality of my surrounding? 
hindi na lang quality of life. Kasi baka mamaya, if do they add value to my life, baka sabihin naman, pera, pera lang. Siyempre, hindi. There is this um, one inspirational woman, inspirational woman um, that I look up to right now, si Tita Remy. She's the mother of Kate, which was my uh, sayang, you know? Sana sister-in-law ko na siya, but he, she and my brother broke up. But she's still that one sister that I treat as my sister talaga because we lived under one roof for several years. I, I feel that Tita Ma has done so well in life. There was this one time na lumapit ako sa kanya. She never let me down and she even told me this inspiring story na alam mo ba, dumaan ako sa ganito, ganyan, ganyan. And hindi ko rin, kung titignan daw niya yung buhay niya ngayon, hindi niya ma-imagine how she came to this current life that she is living. And that's a kind of example that I look up to. So I was, I've been trying to reach out to her. Hindi lang magpanap yung schedule namin. Supposedly last, last week. And then nag-cancel siya. And then, supposedly naman this weekend, kaso ako naman yung nag-cancel. Kasi nga, may scheduled date kami ni Mr. E. Bigyan pinayaga si Mr. na mag-off. And then, today, inaayos naman yung motor ko. So, anyway, yun lang yung ano, um, update ng buhay ko ngayon. Let me show you from the time na inaayos yung motor ko kahapon. Oh, my God. 
time. <laughs>